What's up, guys? It's uh, Mike with uh, Guns Cause of Construction. Let me just lower this down a little bit. Uh, I am in the 17 um, Z06 Corvette right now. And uh, I have been going crazy trying to get this damn seat to set my position. And it's driving me absolutely nuts. So what I've done is um, I figured it out. And now what I'm doing is uh, 1X, 2X. There we go. I'm trying to figure out this new phone. I'm using the uh, Samsung. It's the Samsung. Um, damn, I can't think what this phone is called. But it's the Samsung uh, Note. The, the, the Note 8. I'm using this now compared to the iPhone 8. Uh, we're going to see what how the quality of this video is. And plus how the quality of the sound is on this particular video um all right so this is what i this is what i've been trying to do here okay so you got the uh the car you've got the set button the number one button i'll try to get in a little closer to make that clear the set button number one number two and then to bring the seat all the way back for like easy exit okay um so what, what i've done is i've set my seat exactly where i want it got it set up there and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna smash not only the uh, number one button but you're gonna smash the one and the set button at the same time no oh, normally it works it's not working right now no oh I know why damn car shut off that's why Hang on, let me just get the uh, thing on here we go all right so if you hit the, the number one and the uh, set button you heard it beep, I'll do it again. Okay, that's what we got going on here. Let me lower this radio before I get a, uh, I wind up getting uh, a violation. But that's it, really, that's uh, that's about it. That's what you gotta do. You gotta hit the set button and the number one button down at the same time, or number two, whoever driver you are. I'm the only person who drives this car, so there should be nobody else messing with my shit. Um, Something else I wanted to show you guys too. Well, I got the uh, well, I got the video recording, and we're actually moving here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the car up. All right. Open the door. Close the door. All right. This was a little weird for me. I didn't understand this. But if we go here to the OK button, and we go to settings, settings inside the radio which is really, really strange to me. Let me lower this down too. I'm sweating my ass off. Um, it's actually pretty hot today. It's 46 degrees, but it feels like it's 80. All right, so we go into the settings on the actual radio, and you can go into driving mode, right? So obviously you, you can select your driving mode here. You can go back and forth, and with that toggle switch right there, I'm going from sport to track, and then all the way back to weather. You know, in this weather, then there's uh, the eco mode, touring mode, sport mode, track mode. Okay, so uh, the only thing that they that this particular thing is co is actually interacting with is the steering wheel on how how the steering is going. Uh, I've got that set up to. If you click steering, it's auto mode selector. So whatever the selector's on, it's how the steering's going to be. I really wish I could figure out how that'll turn that light off. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, that's what I'm saying. It's just the first time we do it. I like the carbon fiber. It looks pretty sick with the light that way. Um, so if we're in the steering mode, I've got it selected, uh, mode selector, so that whatever mode I select is where the steering is going to be. Obviously, touring, the, the, the uh, steering wheel is going to move very loosely. Sport is going to be a little bit tighter. I think track is even tighter than sport, but I'm not 100%. But this is the one I really wanted to show you guys. So right now, um, engine sound management is what they're calling it. Um, let me see if I can roll down the windows in here. This way you guys can somewhat hear it a little bit better. All right, so now I'm in... Right now, I think I'm I'm got it set up for, and I do for track, which is probably the loudest it'll go. And I'm going to change it right now and keep my mouth shut for about 30 seconds so you can hear the difference. And we'll do that one more time. Hopefully, the uh, the microphone on this car was good enough to pick that up. So sport and track sound about the same. I think it's just those little valves on the back. Touring quiets it down. Stealth mode quiets it down even more, I believe. 
but I'm going to leave it in track because when I'm coming down the block or I fire up my car in the morning, I want people to know that I'm firing up the Z06. Um, so that's about it. And again, I was going through all these stupid things on here, up, down, select, over, all that crap, trying to find out where the heck the, um, the button was or the programming was to take care of that. And it's not. It's in the radio. It's not on the actual way you think it would be under performance. It's actually on the radio. In settings. Let's go back to home. It's in the set. It's in settings right there. That's where it's at. All right, guys. This is a pretty crappy video. I'm really not liking the um, the fact that the light is on the entire time. That's kind of blinding the hell out of me. Um, definitely blinding the hell out of you guys, right? There you go. All right. Um, whether you like this video or not, just smash that like button. Maybe subscribe. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good day.